There are more than a thousand nurse practitioners right here in our area. You may have one as your primary care provider. You might also see one in an emergency situation. But their powers are limited in some cases. One group hopes that will change. We are in a crisis of having enough primary care providers and providers of all types. That crisis is why Catherine Darling says nurse practitioners in Arkansas should have more power. Right now, nurse practitioners must have what's called a collaborating physician on the payroll. They're also not allowed to write prescriptions for Schedule II drugs, which include powerful painkillers like oxycodone or morphine. Darling, a nurse practitioner herself, says the limited power and a doctor shortage could put our rural communities at risk. There are some communities that have no provider at all, so nurse practitioners are uh, prepared uh, to go into those communities. State Senator Cecile Bledsoe, though, worries nurse practitioners don't have enough training to write those prescriptions. She's also not convinced they would practice in rural communities. She said, quote, it is my understanding that states with more liberal scopes of practice for advanced practice nurses have not seen increases in access to care by advanced practice nurses, contrary to what is frequently claimed. And a state rep filed this bill this year to allow nurse practitioners to prescribe those Schedule II drugs. It never got out of committee. Ben Wagner. 4029 News. All right, Ben, thank you. Well, the Arkansas Nurse Practitioners Association says the legislature will likely take this issue up again in 2017.